What's up, degenerates? Mad Morrigan here for Cold Bear Sports. Right, lads, tree for us tomorrow. We might do a little pint treble on the tree as well. One is 11 to 2, one's 5 to 2, one's 5 to 6. I'll come to them in a minute. Just recap today. First on YouTube, I had uh, the horse Jamil in the in Punchestown in the national trial. Um, obviously just doesn't look the same horse of old at the minute coming back from uh, you know a long time with injury but I wouldn't lose faith in him yeah I'd maybe like to see him get a little spin out over hurdles or something give him a bit of confidence uh, he didn't jump great today and things like that but he made a move at one stage of the race and then he fell away again but he'll be there again in the future I don't think he's lost everything just confidence is gone at the minute then I had Jerry's back. Um, not a horse I'm going to get involved with anymore. It's actually it's it's given being forgiven to a horse uh, with these profiles. I'm going to try and scratch them all together anymore. I can find too many winners without trying. Like I just thought, uh, if he was going to shine, it would be today. Well handicapped, a fairer track, but he still lets you down. So just in the future. I'm going to stay away from these kind of horses. They're just not good bets. I was drawn into thinking he was. I actually thought he could have been even a better bet today. He was so well handicapped. But then it just shows you, you can find more progressive horses. So, you know, to be honest, he's the last time I'm going to back him. And to be fair, I did actually think today he could have a right chance. But uh, he done what he done. He made a bad mistake. And that's him. So in the future, I'm going to stay away from them kind of horses. Then on the Patreon service, uh, not a great day for me at all. The, the first race was so annoying. Uh, I knew the top four in the market this morning, Coconut Splash, uh, Gustavian, Midnight River and Gladiator Alan. I knew none of they would all struggle to win it. There was only two horses I thought then had a chance. The other horse had none. And I, I went for the one that was the biggest price. And of course, the Widowmaker won it and i eliminated the first uh four in the betting so anymore i think uh, he was six to one this morning the other horse was 28 to one so i think anymore if i eliminate the top four in the betting i think i'm going to play the two that the only other two that had a chance against the field i had the horse i did tip up i thought he ran a really nice race at a massive price he went out to 40 to one he traveled well he jumped and just at exeter he got tired first run for a long time and I think he'll definitely be a, a horse to keep on side in the future. Maybe it might take him a run or two, but definitely a very nice horse. But yeah, frustrating I didn't t tip up the two against the field because, like I said, the first four in the betting just couldn't couldn't have them. I couldn't have them as a win bet. So, you know, it only left two with a chance and, and, and I should have went tipped the two of them up six to one, 28 to one. You could have justified it. Then I went for a really strong bet on a horse. We had a nice touch off the last day. Triple time. You know, hit him hard today. I really thought um, he was a cracking bet today. However, I knew he had the measure of the second favourite. Unfortunately, there was a first time out horse that actually put in a very, very good performance uh, for Kim Bailey. And then I think... Uh, I think he ran away. He fucking ran away with the rest. He won very well. Didn't mind the conditions on debut. Won easy. So yeah, my lad disappointed him, but I thought he was a solid bet today. He really liked the ground. He improved for the trip. But anyway, he let me down and the bookie took me money. <laughs> but that's it. But I got out in the end. Joe Value had a nice winner. So, you know, I got on him at shorter prices, but still uh, nice look she's a very good mare i don't think the jockey gave her the best ride but she just she's just such a a decent she's such a trier that uh she 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 won very very impressive so nice to get out and get a few pound back um you know like i said i had to take i don't battle during the day so had to take the shorter price but uh nice to get my money back after hitting the triple trade hard right um what are we looking at tomorrow? Right, the 205 in Catrick, Miss Fairfax. Right, Miss Fairfax, obviously we landed a massive double for me the last day. I had a, her with a 9-2 to two shot. 
five points win, five points or six points win, a nine to two, five points win, a five to six, and then we had the two points win double. We were waiting on her. She bolted in. Now, Patrick won't suit her as well as Exeter, but she is unexposed at the staying trips and is three mile one. Hopefully, uh, more rain will come because she just loves soft. But I will say one thing. As much as I love her, the genetics of Catrick mightn't suit her, but she's a stout stayer, and hopefully, uh, you know, she gets it done. So a point win of five to six. Then in the seven thirty at Wolverhampton, Virgin Snow. I think this mare is really coming to the boil tomorrow. A point each way at eleven to two. It is a tricky race, but she's not a bad mare now. She has some good back form, and uh, I expect her to run well tomorrow. Hopefully, she can. Uh, Get a bit of luck and running and uh, run a big one. A pint each way at 11 to 2. And then in the 8.30 at Wolverhampton, El Bello, a pint win at 5 to 2. Uh, think it uh, has excuses the last day and I think it's progressive overall. And I expect it to run well. It doesn't look the strongest of races. So hopefully them three tomorrow might get done. And I'll go a pint win treble. Miss Fairfax, Virgin Snow and El Bella. Right, moving on to tomorrow. I might have a strong one in Catrick. I'm just, I need to watch him back a few more times to make sure uh, I like him as, you know, I like him. He, he he let me down before for a five points win, but he fell at the last or the second last going best. Looked like he was going to win. Unfortunately, he fell. But anyway, look, one there tomorrow. Uh, Tuesday is a very interesting day for me, Tuesday. I have two horses Tuesday. And hopefully uh, we'll kick the buckies in the nuts. Right. Um, Miss Fairfax, Virgin Snow, El Bello. Right, lads. Sunday night, still working hard. A nice winner on the Patreon service again today there for Joe Value. So nice to, to clean up uh, what could have been a very bad day. Ended on a good note. Right. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Oh, lads. The podcast. I just seen Joe mention the podcast. We're recording the Cheltenham Festival preview tomorrow. I suppose I was going to call it an anti-post preview, but most of them markets are kind of going now. So we'll just do a Cheltenham preview. Uh, we'll record it tomorrow. I mightn't make it out till Wednesday or Thursday. I'm going to, it's going to go away and get the graphics on. But as soon as it's ready, it'll be sent back to me. And it'll probably be later in the week. Uh, so look for it maybe around Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday probably i get it out by. But yeah, we'll be recording it tomorrow. So don't miss that. We really are going to have a look. Good luck at Cheltenham. See can we find uh, anything lurking uh, as a bet. Right, take care. God bless.